My name's Simon Pumpiner and I'm a mathematician and also a stand-up. So you could say a stand-up mathematician. And I am also the Australian Numeracy Ambassador. So I have the great privilege of having the endorsement of the federal government in Australia and to go around and inspire pretty much everybody uh, about how awesome maths can be. Now this is an Australian. <laughs> from above, from above. <laughs> These are nine Australians, here's 36 Australians, here's 144 Australians, here's 576 Australians, here's 21 million 388,597 Australians. And I'm there, and you guys are over there. So can you see that? Isn't that awesome? Huh? Went from a circle to a square, is that possible? Not really. Any mathematicians? But check this out. So I'm very gregarious, if you haven't worked out, I like people, but I also really like maths. So for a long time at uni, I, was, I kind of was a bit lost because I loved my subject, but I didn't really like the people that were teaching it to me. I didn't like the way they were teaching it. It was all very insular. It lacked energy and passion that I felt. I thought, I wonder if I can put maths and comedy together because people love to laugh. And there's something special that goes on when you're communicating through humour. You know what you have to do is listen to the audio spectrum of the Big Bang to know exactly what happened before the universe began. Right? This is what happened. There was nothing, there was nothing, there was nothing, and then... There you go, that's how the universe began. That's how it began. That was the sound of a Mac starting. Steve Jobs, he was a genius. He was a genius. So what happened before the universe began? That's the last universe. I never had envisaged my show as preaching to the converted. I never imagined the nerds and the you know, the wonderful nerds comedies that we have now. I never had that. I, I always was just like, I want to go to a pub and perform to middle-aged people that hate their lives. You know what I mean? I wanted to see whether I could, I could change something about them um, and get them in touch with their, with their higher self. It's like, come on, love your brains. Come on, it's your brain. When these guys get together, it's a four-way love triangle. It's a two rectangles, actually. But waiting just around the corner with their ultimate rivals. Ultimate sets are exactly the same area. And once they've taken each other out, you won't believe what happens next. <laughs> the Babylonians knew it. The Greeks knew it. Now you know it. Pythagoras is a theorem. Simple Twitter at Mathemaniac. If you go to at Mathemaniac, it's me.